The ultimate dream for a lot of indie game developers, including myself, is to make a multiplayer first-person shooter. But what exactly goes into making one? Well, I finally got started on my own project last week, and basically, there's a lot that goes into it. The first question to answer when starting out is, do you want your game to be peer-to-peer, -peer, where each player connects directly to each other's machines, or do you want client-server, where instead of connecting to each other, the players only connect to a central server that is responsible for keeping everyone in sync? Most modern multiplayer games use some form of client-server architecture because of the numerous benefits it has over peer-to-peer, -peer, and it's also what I wanted for my game. The game engine I use is Godot, and it's awesome. Godot uses a node-based structure to build all the assets in the game, including maps, players, weapons, etc. I chose to create two different versions of the game, the client version, which is what the general public gets to play, and a stripped-down server version, which only runs on the central server. It handles most of the networking backend. When you play a multiplayer game, the other players you see on your screen aren't the actual players themselves, but rather they are puppets that represent the other player, and they're being controlled by the server. Sometimes this causes discrepancies between what you see versus what the server sees versus what the other person sees, but for the most part, this works fairly well. In the beginning, I had no idea where to start. Most of the tutorials on YouTube were a bit too technical for me to understand, but eventually I found a tutorial series by the YouTuber Reyus, which really helped me understand multiplayer, link below. But of course, it wasn't a perfect fit for what I had in mind, and so I had to figure out a lot of the stuff on my own. Here, all I was focused on was getting the game to connect to the server properly. Alright, if everything is working correctly, then when I press this button here, this screen will change, and we will see Hello World pop up in the output over here. So let's try it out. Yes! After that, I focus on making sure all players see the same thing at the same time. When I press Join Game on both of the windows, I should see a white cube in the middle of each. So let's try it out. All right. After that, I focused on movement, and by the time I got that down, I had learned enough about multiplayer to do what you're seeing now. As far as I know, there are no tutorials on YouTube that show you how to do this exact thing, but I figured it out on my own using my past experience making single player FPS games, as well as breaking tutorials down to their basics to try to apply them to situations that they don't cover. Right now, when the player moves a character, it first tells the server about its new position, and then the server updates the position on the other player's screens. This is very simple and responsive, but the one big problem is that it's super easy to create cheats and hacks in this model since anyone can mess around with the code on the client game and the server would have no idea. To combat this, instead of using the nuclear option of fully controlling all movement and physics on the server side, which adds extra lag and complexity, I'm going to try my hand at adding some anti-cheat measures to the game instead. That's gonna be a doozy, but it's something I hope to tackle in a future video, and so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when that video drops. If you enjoy my content, make sure to like, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and if you're feeling extra generous, consider supporting me directly on Coffee using the link below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day.